Well, hello world. Welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and today I have a quick one for you. It involves the SSL UC1, the UF1, and the Avid Control app, and how I get them to work together. And the first thing I want to show you is how I get the hardware to follow what plugin I want to use in Pro Tools without having to go back and forth looking. And um, it's kind of like a track follow, but it's just for the channel strip hardware. This is a workaround. I know other dolls, you don't have to worry about this, but Pro Tools you do. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do is go to your app and you're going to go on to your channel uh, view and you want to pick inserts. So it's already highlighted. And then you want to pick on the SSL and you'll see the SSL channel strip pop up on your screen and you will also see what what it is over here. So the thing is now that it's in uh, focus like this, I can go to any of these uh, different channels and you're gonna see that the hardware switches with it. So making it a lot easier to work. So the, the key to this is you wanna have all your channel strips on the same insert. So I have them all on A, the first insert, but I'll probably be putting them on uh, B or C because uh, sometimes I'll run tape machines, you know, studers or whatever in front, or sometimes, uh, you know, if I'm doing a lot of software instruments, then I'll have them on the first track. So I'll put the channel strips on, you know, I'll probably use them on B or even C. The main thing is you wanna make sure they're all on the same row of inserts or else you'll be picking a different plugin on that insert, you know, if it's there. So that's the one thing that's cool. So I can just go around, I'm on my overs right here. Let's say I wanted to work on my kick and then I just hit play and see. And then I just solo it if I want to and I can listen and then I can start tweaking and you know, 20 dB of 8K is always a good thing. Um, and it makes it really easy to fly around. So you can do all that stuff. You can get all your, um, you know, all your stuff going quickly and just move around and you don't have to keep clicking in, in Pro Tools. You just hit, hit your thing. You see where you're going. And because it's on the iPad app, it's, it's color coded to exactly match Pro Tools. So it makes it easy, but even easier than that is instead of having to scroll through this way, once you have that insert selected, you can go to any channel, now, I mean any uh, window on the iPad. So I'm going to go into track mode and now you'll see this is a small session. I just, this is mainly for uh, YouTube um, <clears throat> tutorials just to get something small that I can you know manage easily for a few minute videos and stuff like that but anyway the point is in this view it's very easy to see my whole session so I can just boom 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 once I'm there and I'm gonna let you see the screen so if you even look at the screen you'll see the plugin on the screen changes and it all matches there boom nice and easy. Now the cool th other cool thing is if you want to control a, a third party plugins, say I want to control the Poltec by UAD or whatever Poltec you got, all I have to do is hit um, the channel mode and then I just go to focus, hit focus and now anytime I put my uh, mouse over anything, boom, all I got to do is turn this knob and there you go. And the slower you go, the slower it goes. Now it's not as smooth as the, you know, Yukon knobs or I mean the S3 knobs as far as this goes, but um and it's not I don't it's not touch sensitive. I don't think you're going to be able to ride this for automation or anything. But nevertheless, it's still it's still really cool. So that's awesome. Um I want you know what would be cool if you could flip that to the fader. Can you flip it? No, can't flip it. That would be cool because it would be a lot smoother because this has, has detents on it. So, oh well. But still, 
for certain things you're moving around sometimes you just like move real quick and boom 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 you know what i mean it's nice to have it's something that's a luxury but still it's cool you have they didn't waste the knob you know what i'm saying just to select channels so that's awesome and then you know you also have control over pans and all that stuff like that so usually i'll have my memory locations right here so i can just go through the markers easily instead of having hit period number period i mean it's not that hard either i'm used to either way i'm used to it but you know uh it can make it quicker when you can see what you're looking at and I can have it named and all that stuff in here and then I would see it. So that's pretty cool. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was the 360 software and how these end up following each other. So if you hit the 360, sorry, and you hit plug in mixer, then you're in that channel strip mode. I watched the, the SSL video and I totally missed that. I don't know if they put it in there, but I totally missed how to do that. So then once you're in that mode, then you just hit the 360 and this will come up. Now, if you hit the 360 and not and you're not in that mode on the UF1, it's gonna take you to how you edit the controller itself. But if you're in channel strip mode, then it's like this. And it's cool because you can see I am going from channel to channel and it's changing over here as well. And if I go over here, the same thing. So either way, either one I'm working on or whatever, it's cool. But the other thing that's cool is you get this, uh, you know, you get a, a representation of your EQ curve. Even cooler than that is the fact that you have secondary functions that you used, usually you would have to hit this button to get to for extended functions now you can have them right here so some of the main ones that you'll use are already ready to go so if you like to do parallel compression with a compressor built into the channel strip you can do that here without having to go here pick it and, you know scroll through all the stuff and whatever but it makes it a lot easier to navigate and so far i'm really digging the uf1 with this uc1 you know i haven't had a lot of time with it because i've been moving a lot of stuff around in the studio because i had because i'm going to start doing more work um as far as for youtube in here making videos in the control room which i was fighting for a while but um <clears throat> and then i have another area where i'm doing my guitar stuff so guitar pedal you know kind of stuff so and then i'll bring them both in at you know for for different things i'm going to be doing tracking stuff here and I have a, the console back here that I'm going to be <clears throat> showing everybody as far as like how I use it, what it does, why do I have it, you know, stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, stay notified because I will be uploading weekly um, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.